Pamela Anderson's Bob Wire is an amazing or just a bust. Welcome to the Trash Taster. Come on and rest! <laughs> nice. Come on, babe! Oh! You are about to experience trash cinema. Oh my god! Trash. everyone and welcome to another edition of the trash taster this is our little video companion to our podcast the trash tapes where we talk about very infamously bad movies i am your busty host and the inflictor of pain johan Chapul, with my rather confused guest edward hey guys so there is a reason why i'm dressed like this there is a reason <laughs> Okay. I have no words. Uh, okay, right. Because, okay, one of the movies I've been wanting to watch forever is iconic. And it's iconic because of a very certain busty lady. Mm. Pamela Anderson. Fan? Yeah. Yep. So, ever since Baywatch. Ever since Baywatch. Well, we're going to review her first proper outing as a female lead when we look at Barb Wire. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie since I was about 11. <laughs> so, so this is gonna, did, did this movie spark puberty for you? Because I Definitely. think it did for quite a few people. It's probably my sexual awakening. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, boobs exist. And definitely boobs exist in this movie. So I cannot <laughs> wait. So let's just, uh, let's pop this movie in, shall we? And go on an adventure, shall we? <laughs> Just sat through Bob Wire. <laughs> Should be called Boob Wire. Boob Wire. <laughs> it it would have been like that before. I mean, you saw me at the beginning. I was busty. Yeah. Kind of liked it, but I do not know how women function in those things. In those things, as if it's something you do. Oh, I'm such a dude. Right. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun for me. I really enjoyed Barb Wire, uh, and I'm I'm not ruining entirely, but I just really had a big fun with us. How about you? Oh, it definitely. I mean, I enjoyed it back then, and I enjoy it now. It's just, it's so, such a great, like, fun movie. It is fun, and it's got a weird energy to it. And, yeah, but, you know, when you're a little younger, you probably liked it for different reasons. <laughs> oh, definitely. I was drawn to it because of Pammy. Of course. Of yeah. course. It wasn't everyone. It's one of those movies you, you hear, hear boys talking about it in school, like, oh, I know, you, you can see she flashes in this movie. You know? and, it's like, and you're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> your, your puberty hits. There's a sexual awakening. In fact, I think this movie's mostly nearly everyone's sexual awakening. So we're going to go right into this by talking about the little hints and tips and bullet points for the Trashometer. Trashometer. And with the trash ometer is we, we go through each bit of the movie, some of the, the highlights, and ca calculate to see where it falls on the trash ometer. So, yeah. first part, you've just mentioned it, boobs galore! 
boobs everywhere. Boobs, Every scene, boobs, boobs, whether it's Pam's, boobs, whether it's boobs. other female actors yeah. in it. So many boobs. Boobs are everywhere. Um, in fact, like it's it's also nonchalant about them and it doesn't care. Like there's literally there's tits everywhere. The opening sequence is the most infamous exploitative scene I've ever seen, which is basically Pam Ranson is in a tight leather outfit with her boobs out being splashed with water and champagne. It's great. It's that is not subtlety, people. We know what we're getting ourselves into. And Pam and like you mentioned, Pamela flashes. Yeah, it sort of sets the tone straight away. Yeah. Uh, is, just, is this what you're in for? Just boobs. Constant boobs, right? Which then leads to a few other things, like, for example, wardrobe changes, where you think, you know, there's a lot of... She changes her outfits a lot, to the mm. point that she gets naked a lot. Yeah. Um, like, she, at one point, she's having a conversation with the chief of police, and she literally is stripping in front of him. And just changing an outfit right in front of him. He just got like the the cheesy kind of silhouette with with side boobs. Yes. Uh, behind the uh, the the, the uh, blind thing. Yeah. It's so sexy, smutty. I kind of love it. Mm. Right. Um, but then obviously, even though she is totally eye candy and totally pushing, she's also a feminist because she doesn't want to call you babe. You really know your stuff, babe. <laughs> no. What did you call me? Uh oh. Don't call me babe. Yeah. Whoa! Bloody hell, that's a lot of bullets. Right, don't call her babe. The thing is, it's a bit like conflicted in that respect because you're showing her boobs to everyone, but like, yes. no, you can't call her babe. <laughs> she hates that word. And I love it because every time someone says that word, she someone dies a terrible death. Yeah. Like the very first sequence, a stiletto is thrown into a man's face. I kind of love it. It's like rigid. It's like like proper like stuck in his head. Yes, it feels Rid like it's impaled. Glued, it's impaled in there, and he's she's, he's moving around going ah. The heel is just there. It's moving. It's kind of badass. Um, so yeah, but however, even though she has this badass attitude, it leads to the next point: monotone Pam. What are you doing? Ever see Batman? Mm, no, she's never been the best actress. Yeah, and she's always kind of just on that. Hey, I'm Pamela Anderson level. I am basically, like, I'm a bit sexy, but I'm also a little annoyed. And whatever, ooh, bish bash. And that's literally the tone of the entire movie. There's moments where some she, when she, it, it asks for some emotion. Yeah. And she doesn't deliver much. But when she, when she does deliver the emotion, it's like once or twice in the movie, and it's like a little bit yeah. to the point of surprise. But she's so <laughs> hidden behind her lots of hair and makeup mm -hmm. and whatnot and it's like you can't see the emotion even if she was doing it yeah just brilliant absolutely brilliant it does lead to some hilarious moments from that because she's saying serious lines or some comical lines that's lacking a punch mm. but it's all the time which makes it funny it's yeah. kind of a weird cycle at uh, least it's consistent at least it's consistent <laughs> But obviously, with all that, Pamela Anderson shot in an interesting way, because I would say MTV shoots here. Mm. Everything here feels like a music video. Yeah. Everything. Like, every angle, every shot is slightly Dutch, or kind of looking like it's something out of an early 90s grunge video. Like, that kind of, like, mid-90s attitude. Yeah, well, actually, the blind guy reminded me of, like, a grunge guy. He did, didn't it? Yeah. And even then, to add even more links, that guy is the guy from Always on the bon on the Bon Jovi music video. Yeah. Is that guy? Like what? Okay, it's all MTV here. It's like the guy who, like cheats on his girlfriend and stuff, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah. Because it's like, oh, let's bring all the connections we have from MTV. Let's make this an MTV movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, with that, it's got the look and the star, but it's looking for something else. So mm. it has a. This cyberpunk noir apocalyptic dream. I call it cyberpunk noir dream because it's just like this weird mishmash of just everything. Yeah, so it's sexy to dread. That makes no sense to me, but I love it. I know you don't quite see that. I see that. Sexy it's like Judge Dredd. All the outdoor deserty bits are kind of yeah. like the deserty bits in Judge Dredd. Yes. And then also in the city, you've got all this like sort of a noir stuff going on. Yeah. So I get that, because, and then add some more boobs in there. You got sexy. Just I'm, just, I'm just thinking, like you know, Carl Urban or uh, or Sylvester Stallone with boobs. Now it doesn't work, <laughs> but I get it. I get it. It's got this kind of aesthetic that reminds me a little bit of things like Dark City as well, and yeah. other things like that. So it 
I know was trying to do. It just feels like it's bashing heads with it too much. Yeah, too I much going on. Too much. Which leads to the next point that everyone smokes. Everybody smokes. There's not a single character who doesn't light a cigarette at some point. Well, you've got to get that sexy noir backlighting on that smoke. The little smoky, sexy look to it. But listen to the thing. This is the future of 2017. You think that everyone would have stopped smoking by then, but nope. Everyone is still Well, people path. are still smoking now in 2019. Yeah, but everyone? <laughs> no, not everyone. <laughs> oh, good grief. So, yeah, this sort of goes on a bit, but then... There's a reason why it's got a bit of noir feeling because the next step is the next point is just Casablanca, isn't it? Mm. The movie is literally a rip-off plotline to Casablanca. Yeah. With Humphrey Bogart being played by Pamela Anderson. It's almost like there's no need to write a story. Let's just use another one and just kind of give it a different aesthetic. It is. It's so blatant <laughs> what the plotline is. Like if you've seen Casablanca, you've seen Bob Wire. Yeah. But it's funny, does it mean that if you've seen Barbed Wire, you've seen Casablanca? So if you've seen Barbed Wire first, people are going to say like, wait a minute, this movie's just a plot to Barbed Wire, isn't it? That is to be hilarious if you saw Barbed Wire first. Yes. I mean, I, 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 a lot of people probably have because not everyone's seen like the older movies. Yeah. So uh, people are like, hey, I've, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Humphrey Bogart's Pamela Anderson in here. It's great. <laughs> Which leads to literal Nazis. Now, the mm. point is literal Nazis because you've got... It's an American... The second American Civil War, yet the bad guys are literal German Nazis. They even look like them. There's no hiding the fact they're just plain Nazis. Yeah. So, it adds to the whole, like, Casablanca thing without just blatantly ripping it off. I mean, if you want to get a good bad guy, then you've yeah. got to go with Nazis. Nazis. Yeah. Just Nazis. <laughs> and this then leads to the final part, which is explosive finale. Oh my god, the end the ending is the best. Yes! Rocket launches! Yeah! Okay, well done. And a car flip, because that's how you do it! <laughs> More explosions! <laughs> They're just putting all the explosions in at this moment in time. I'm impressed. So many explosions. So like really cool fights, like one up on a crane, like a car yes. on a crane. A car on a crane be lifted by another crane. <laughs> and explosions. So many explosions. And it's like the very over-the-top action movie explosion thing. Where you know one shot from a gun hitting a car explodes it. Yeah. Or there's a barrel on top of an top of explosive barrel on top of a, another explosive barrel, and the explosion is like a takes off an entire city block. Yeah, like the computer game kind of thing. Like, oh, there's a barrel there. I'll shoot that barrel. Bam. Boom. Absolutely Kill the best. Kill all the enemies in the area. It's so good. And it's literally the perfect ending to this movie because the movie itself doesn't have, doesn't have as much action as you think. But at the end, they compensate for it by just throwing everything at you. Mm. Fucking perfect. So, that's it for the points. Okay. So, right, let's go right onto the trashometer. Where does it fall on this? Where do you think? Uh, it needs to be near the middle. It needs to be near the perfection mark. I think 50. it's kind of near perfection. Yeah. Like, it's like a 45, 55 on the near perfect meter of trash. This is a trash film. This is so much fun to have watched. If, especially if you're aware of what Pamela Anderson is, I think. Yeah. Because if you know what Pammy is, like we do, this just makes it even funnier. Mm. It just makes it so much more fun knowing that this is Pamela Anderson trying to be serious. Is it though? I don't know. But whatever it is, it was awesome. <laughs> it seems like she's baffled. Like she doesn't know what she's meant to be doing in terms of like how she's meant to be playing it. I don't know. But yeah. whatever it is, I've had a good time with it. Definitely. So, so this is definitely a trash. Definitely 50% on this, yeah. Trash. Mm. Amazing. It's so good to finally find more trash movies on the list because we've only got a few handfuls at the minute where it falls directly under trash we have troll 2 we have miami connection we have shark attack 3 megalodon and now another one to throw on the list barbed wire yeah definitely because so, you never you never quite know where they're gonna fall do you i mean you, your memory of it could like think oh this is definitely gonna go right, score right but yeah you, but then you watch it again and it, you, you, your opinion changes and whatnot yeah. so yeah you never know quite know do you we're hoping that we'll find more trash movies to put on this so well done right so um on enigmatic we've had a very busy month so we start off with cult versus current where we've uh, looked at Terminator franchise, where we looked particularly the trailer for the new uh, Terminator, Terminator Dark Fate. Yeah. And then we had a scene. What scene was that? 
It was the Technoir scene where the Terminator tracks down Sarah Connor in the Techno Club, Technoir. And then it has a you know confrontation with uh, Kyle Reese as well. So they have a bit of a fight in there. He, he gets her out of there, protects Such her. Such a good scene. Then there's a bit of a car chase, that kind of thing. Yeah. Such a good scene from the original movie. So we've co we compared that, had a chat about the Terminator franchise in general. Mm. And then we moved on to Enigmatic Play in the middle of the month, which we had. We had to do Super Mario Brothers 3. After yes. the, uh, the podcast of uh, The Wizard, yeah. we felt like we've got to go and go back and play. Uh, Super Mario Brothers, Brothers 3. 3. It was the best thing in the movie and it's basically the best and it's one of the best video games ever so we had to go back and do it. Yeah, so that's you can go and see that now. That'll be up uh, on uh, the channel now. Yep, and then we have now, obviously, uh, this episode will now be up at the same time as the podcast. If you are interested, there should be a link below with the uh, how to subscribe to the podcast in terms of iTunes, Spotify. We have our, we have Acast. We're all over the shop. But we're also introducing something a little bit different. We're also going to introduce some extra channels as the terms of just getting some extra content out there yeah so for trash tapes you will be able to go through our back catalog now on youtube which is really exciting mm. we'll start off with troll 2 and you can, every month there'll be a new, an old episode up there in its entirety so you can listen to it if you're struggling and you haven't gone back and you want to go back to our older catalog or you want to find another way of listening to the podcast that's the option yeah because not everyone uses uh digital radios and stores do they sometimes yeah. people just use youtube so it's, that's the way of listening to the podcast more opportunities for you mm. and then we've also doing one for enigmatic play how are we doing that one then well with that i always think that some people sometimes like to watch a, like a long play like yeah. sometimes people just like watching the entire gaming session mm. so if you want to what do that you can go onto the enigmatic play channel and just watch the entire gaming session yep yeah, because uh, yeah. on the on the main channel it'll be more of a highlight kind of episode like half an hour long or something like that but yeah if you want to watch the entire session which is usually about an hour and a half two hours yeah then you can just go and watch it on there and on those two channels as well if we have like any extra content that doesn't fall under the show we'll put them on those channels as well so like mini promos or little weird reaction videos or anything like that that doesn't fall where we're doing it will be on those channels so check yeah. those out Speaking of channels in general, if you like what you're seeing or hearing, subscribe to us. You click on, the, click on the subscribe button. You can give us a thumbs up for a like or click the bell notification icon if you want to keep track of when a new video is out. Excellent. So, keep, so to end it all, keep an eye on your trash. There might be some treasure in there. Just be sure that it's not that busty. See you guys later. See you guys. Trash.